glad. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Because you know what else? Songs of joy and victory are sung in the house of the righteous. Right? That's what we're here to do. Songs of joy and victory. Because no matter what you go through in the week, you, if it's wonderful and you've been on top of the world, you let it down to just come worship Jesus. If you've been in the valley, you come here and you get lifted up. Isn't that right? Praise the Lord. We're going to sing a song, and I want everybody singing with us. Open up the heavens, but you, you want to think about what the words are. And in Acts 7, Stephen, one of the early followers of Christ, got in a whole big lot of trouble because he was saying, you high priests, you leaders, you all murdered the guy who became the, raised from the dead and became the king of kings, right? Y'all know that story? So they were infuriated is what the Bible says. And Stephen, the Jewish leaders were infuriated by his accusations and shook their fists at him. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed steadily into heaven and saw the glory of God. Get this. And saw Jesus standing in the place of honor at God's right hand. And he told them, look, I see the heavens are opened and the Son of Man standing in the place of honor at God's right hand. So as we sing together, I want you to think the same thing. Open up the heavens, God. We want to see you. We want to see you standing in your glory, standing in your honor. Take us away from just the things of the world. Put us up there with you. Let us see what it's really like. How about that, guys? Amen.
in a couple people know it. I can't do it, but they know it. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Lord, we're just walking into your throne room.
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, how He loves us! How He loves us so! Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. The Lord loves you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is for you. God is on your side. He cares about you. And, uh, and He wants to hear you pray. As we sing these songs, the words minister faith to us. They minister life to us. They build up our hope. We give God the praise that He's due and He just pours back supernatural energy into our innermost being. Our faith rises up. And so we can come and pray with renewed hope, renewed expectation that He's going to be here for us. So let's do that right now. Let's pray. To the God that loves us, cares about us, wants to meet every need that we have, every need. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come right now and because you love us, we ask you, Lord, to help us. Father, meet our needs in Jesus' name. Some of us, we need physical strength or healing in our bodies. And we ask for miracles right here, right now. Cancer. Be gone in Jesus' name. Be gone. Be swallowed up, not just by chemotherapy, but by Holy Spirit power. Be swallowed up dissolved and disappear leave be gone and do not come back ever again in the name of Jesus because Lord you said the number of our days you will fulfill you said with long life you will satisfy us and show us your salvation your deliverance we receive that by faith or some of us need financial help we've tried we've worked We've scratched our heads. We don't know what to do. But Lord, you're our provider. You said you'd meet all of our needs by your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So we ask you right now, Lord, to reach out from heaven and open that door that we can't open. In the name of Jesus, make a way where there doesn't seem to be any way. Do a miracle for us in our financial realm, Lord God, or whatever our need is. Right now, we're believing for joy, for peace. We'll not be a slave to depression. We'll not live under a cloud of depression anymore. I declare we're free in the name of Jesus. We're free to rejoice. We're free to smile. We're free to dance, free to shout, free to laugh, free to hope, free to dream, free to believe, free to enjoy life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And Lord, all of us now, just guide our steps. You've got a purpose for us, a plan for our lives. Till the day that Jesus Christ comes back or till the day you receive us unto eternal glory. You've got a plan for our lives. And we pray you begin to unveil that now. Reveal it now. Open our eyes and draw our heart, Lord towards that plan, the fulfillment of it, the dream you've put inside us, Lord, in Jesus' holy name. We receive that. We expect that. We will see it, Lord. We will enjoy it. We will taste it. We'll see that the Lord is good in the name of Jesus. And Lord, of course we're not keeping all these blessings for ourselves. We pray for our loved ones, our family, our friends, our children, our parents, our brothers and sisters. We pray for our neighbors, our co-workers, our schoolmates. We pray for this city, all the churches in this city, all the families in this city, our state, our nation. Lord, forgive our sins and heal our land. We pray for our president, our vice president, our senators, our congressmen, the Supreme Court, the appellate courts. Even when we don't believe in what they believe in or agree with what they're doing, we pray for them because you said to the Lord. We pray your kingdom come and your will be done. And you'd make this a mighty nation and a holy nation and a good nation. A nation full of love, a nation full of kindness and generosity, Lord, and holiness. In the name of Jesus Christ, only you can do it. And so we call out to you, Lord. 
We pray for our military. We pray, Father God, for our teachers, the doctors, our firefighters, our EMS, all those that, that give their lives to serve others. We pray for joy and peace and blessing and prosperity and health and safety and for them, Lord God. We pray for Israel because you said to pray for them, that you'd give them peace in Jesus' name. And we pray, Father God, for this service, all that's said, all that's done, that everything here, Lord, give glory to Jesus, that everything said and done here would bless and help your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord God. We believe that. Amen. Do you believe that? you believe that? Amen. Amen. Then let's give the Lord praise. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your mighty name. Praise your mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, before you turn around, you know what? Some of y'all, sometimes I know some of y'all say, man, I wish I could be all loud and boisterous like pastor like that. You know what? Before I got saved, they used to say my middle name was? Huh? All my friends said, your middle name is huh? Because you talk so quiet. You know when I got loud? When I got excited about Jesus. You know, you can get excited about Jesus right now. Right? Amen. How many of y'all like to shout to God just one time? Yeah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise your mighty name. Hallelujah. Some of y'all said, well, they don't do that like that in my church. Well, you're not in your church. You're in our church today. So the Bible says clap your hands and what? Shout to God.